Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as I told you before, I'm starting a new series on my channel where I'm going through and reviewing a bunch of Chanel perfumes, which we are doing. However, I thought I would add a little twist to it. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle perfume right here. And I'm also going to create a makeup tutorial inspired by this perfume. So for today's video, I'm heavily inspired by Kiara Knightley and all the campaigns that she did previously with Coco Mademoiselle. Um, I th she is the, not the spokesperson, but the model for Coco Mademoiselle. And a lot of the looks that they create for her, um, she has a really strong brow and just like a really dark, smoky, chocolatey eye with a little bit of gold shimmer. It's very subtle, but it's there. So that's what we're doing today. So for today's video, we're gonna talk about Coco Mademoiselle and do a makeup tutorial or makeup look inspired by the perfume. So before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. My iced coffee is here on the side. My face has been primed and prepped. Let's dive into the look. Okay, so to start off the look, I'm gonna go into my number 268 palette here, um, Candeur Experience. I'm gonna go into the lightest shade in the quad here, and I'm gonna use this as a transition shade. Now, using a big fluffy brush like this, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the crease. So I was actually surprised that Coco Mademoiselle is actually more of a recent perfume in Chanel Perfume House because as we all know, number five is quite old, but Mademoiselle actually came out in the early 2000s, 2001 to be precise. So I would have been 13 years old. So I was not quite at the age to appreciate something like Coco Mademoiselle. And the perfume that we have here today is the Eau de Parfum. This is the 100 milliliter right here, and I love the bottle here, this packaging. It's really just like the classic shape for Chanel perfumes. Number five is like this, Coco Noir, you know, it's really classic. But I also have a very small um, bottle of the Pure Extract, just like the Pure Perfume. And I also have a lot of samples of the Eau de Parfum and also Eau de Toilette. So this perfume is very orange. <laughs> The top notes are orange, mandarin orange, I think there's orange blossom, I think there's mimosa. It's very orange, and I say orange instead of citrus because there is some lime as well, but when I smell it, I specifically smell more orange than overall citrus because sometimes when there's a lot of citrus like lemons and limes, it tends to go more on the zestier side and for me this doesn't smell zesty it smells very orange now that that's placed let's go into the darkest color in the quad here and i'm just going to pack this on the lid and then blend it out a little bit so coco mademoiselle would be considered an oriental but a floral oriental because there's also rose and jasmine mixed into the perfume and when you do smell it it does have a little bit of the oriental scent but it's not heavy with patchouli or it's not a woody scent. It's very, very floral at the same time. So now I'm going in with a clean blending brush and just blending out here because we can see like a harsh line between the brown and the skin. So I just want to make sure that this is more buffed. And this perfume also has some other notes of vanilla and white musk. I personally don't really notice the vanilla on me. It's more floral and the orange that comes through but i guess the nature of it being an oriental perfume you know you would have the tonka bean the vanilla the white musk to kind of just like complement the whole perfume i generally tend to wear the eau de parfum the most the perfume i have um it's very precious it's a tiny little bottle and it is very nice but you know you want to save it for special occasions. And I also really enjoy the Eau de Toilette. The bottle for this is a completely different shape, and I actually really like it. I quite enjoy it. And whenever I wear the Eau de Toilette, people always ask me what it is because it doesn't quite smell like Coco Mademoiselle on me. I've heard some people compare Coco Mademoiselle and Monsieur Chéri, but I personally find that they smell nothing alike. I guess they're two more younger, 
um, popular perfumes for both perfume houses, but as far as that, like that's basically where the similarities end for me. They seem like such different perfumes. I used to own the shower gel, but I ran through it and I was looking online and apparently they have a body oil now, which sounds exciting. I don't know if it's also a bath oil that you can put in your bath, that would be nice as well, but I think the body oil could be nice. So one time a Chanel makeup artist told me that my eyebrows looked similar to Kira Knightley. They were shaped differently at the time, but when he told me that, I was over the moon for several days. I'm going to take a more tapered brush and take that same dark brown and just trace it under the lashes here. And I'm just taking that big fluffy brush from before and just buffing that out. So I think just for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and skip to face makeup and finish off the eyes afterwards. I'm going to go ahead and use the Chanel Ultra Lotte foundation. There are base notes of patchouli in the perfume, which honestly I was surprised by because generally speaking, m my skin does not like patchouli. Like if I put patchouli on my skin, if I put something that's too woody, it often turns to bug spray on my skin. It just it doesn't have a nice scent. But I think the fact that, like I mentioned earlier, there is so much orange in this and it is like an oriental floral does make it so that I can wear it. And I also saw that, I think this is new, but I'm not certain, that you can also get the perfume for hair now for Coco Mademoiselle. I've just like been on a big perfume for hair kick recently. I think since I have the, I already have the Eau de Parfum, I would probably get maybe the body oil or the perfume for hair next, just to like, you know, add to the collection. Okay, now I'm going to go into my concealer. This is the Clé de Peau concealer. I'm in the shade called Almond here. So what is your preferred way to wear Coco Mademoiselle? Do you like the Eau de Parfum? Do you like the perfume extract, Eau de Toilette, body lotion, etc.? Let me know down in the comments. I really like that it has such a nice floral and orange accord because I feel like that lightens it. I feel like sometimes when something is an oriental perfume, it tends to be overwhelming. It kind of just takes, tends to take up the whole room when you walk in. But I feel like, at least like for me, even though it's Eau de Parfum, it doesn't quite have that same effect. I'm just going to retrace the bottom lash line with the brown shadow. But apparently now, there's also Coco Mademoiselle Eau Intense, which I haven't tried yet, but I have a feeling that would be very intense, <laughs> pun intended. Um, I feel like for me, Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum, like I mentioned, it, it is not a perfume that like takes up the whole room when I walk in, but it still has a bit of presence. So the intense perfume must be quite something. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried the Coco Mademoiselle Eau Intense. I'm really curious. I'm just making sure that everything still looks nice and blended. I'm going to go ahead and use my Nine Shadow palette. This is Le Neuf Ambre, Edition numéro 2, Quintessence. This is the Nine Shadow palette from Spring Summer 2019 this year. I'm going to go ahead and use that gold shimmer shade in the middle. And I'm going to place this on the mobile lid. Actually, correction, I'm going to go ahead and place this on the inner corner here. And then taking the brush that I used earlier, I'm just going to make sure that this is blended. And now I'm going to go into the champagne shade in the middle and I'm just going to layer the shimmer color because why not? I'm just going to place it a little bit more in the inner corner here. So I'm just going to take my Chanel Stilo Yeux number 88. This is a waterproof black liner and I'm just going to tight line my eye and I'm going to go in the bottom waterline as well. This look is a bit more evening, a bit more sultry, but whenever I think of the Kira Knightley campaigns, it's always a bit sultry and mysterious. Like her eyes are always like really dark and intense. So that's what we're doing for today. So before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and apply some chapstick or lip balm, I should say. This is the Meal Cordon number 43 Pamela here. It's this really pretty gold packaging and it is this wonderful um, light scented lavender color here. It doesn't actually have a color when you apply it on the lips, but it just feels really nice. It smells like slightly floral, 
like violet maybe. Okay, so moving on to lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Chanel Volume Revolution, and I'm gonna apply lots and lots of mascara. For me, I feel like mascara is one of those things that like, if I'm gonna bother putting some on, I might as well put on a lot. So usually I add bronzer to every single makeup look, but I'm not sure if I actually need to. So I'm gonna go ahead into my number 72, Rose Initiale. This is the Je Contrast right here. This pink is just like perfect for any look for anyone. It's like, it's the blush that kind of goes with like any makeup look. And since this is a pretty eye heavy look, I just wanna have like a fresh cheek that doesn't really draw much attention, but just like makes me look healthy, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and add some highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Dior Backstage palette. And I'm gonna use this gold one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Rouge Coco Stilo number 216 letter or letter it's just like kind of a everyday nudie pink because this eye look is pretty intense i don't i don't want something too dark on the lip and as you saw it kind of just like went really fast it was kind of just to like add some color but not really have anything too intense on the lip the new rouge coco flash number what's it called 62, the one that's called Live or Live, I think. The one that's like an everyday easy nude, that one would also be perfect with this look. All right, guys, there you go. This is my review of Coco Mademoiselle, my tutorial inspired by Coco Mademoiselle. I think something sultry and mysterious is very suitable for this perfume. When I think of all the campaigns, Kira Knightley always looks like sultry, a little mysterious. What is she doing? Where is she going? And this perfume, to me is also mysterious because it is an oriental but it's a floral oriental so you're like what does that mean what are the notes is it gonna smell like patchouli on me but it's something that is very interesting and i feel like for me it was something that took a few tries to really understand a lot of the notes and to really understand a lot of the accords and how they all work together so this is my review of coco mademoiselle and the makeup tutorial for coco mademoiselle i think this is really fun i mean I've done a lot of different reviews. I've done reviews on perfumes, but I think adding the makeup element to it just makes it even more creative and fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. I know a lot of you guys suggested a lot of different perfumes to do next. I have a long list. I did ask you guys on Instagram which perfumes I should review next. So I have quite the list to go through. So I think I will have a busy summer, so don't worry. <laughs> As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Please remember that you are beautiful, you are kind, and you are capable. So go out there and conquer the world. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I really do. We all have crazy, hectic lives. But the, t the fact that you take the time to like watch my videos does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much. I hope you all had a fabulous day. And I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.